In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Greetings, God's beloved people. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Wednesday, the 3rd of May, 2023. It is Wednesday of the fourth week of Easter, Church Year A. The Church celebrates the Feast of Saints Philip and James, Apostles. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 19. The response to the psalm is, Their sound goes forth through all the earth. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 14, verses 6 to 14. I read from the gospel. At that time, Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. Henceforth, you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we shall be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long and yet you do not know me? Philip, He who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I go to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is recognize Jesus in your fellow brothers and sisters. Recognize Jesus in your fellow brothers and sisters. Today, dear friends in Christ, we celebrate the feast of two apostles, Philip and James. Their relics are kept together in the Church of the Twelve Apostles in Rome, and from the day of the dedication of the Church, that is in the year 565, these two apostles have been celebrated together. Their names appear together in the Roman canon in the first Eucharistic prayer. I quote, In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the Blessed Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, end of quote. Philip originally came from Bethsaida in Galilee, It was the same town of origin of Peter and Andrew. He was first a disciple of John the Baptist. When John the Baptist pointed to Jesus as the Lamb of God, 
that is the true and long-awaited Messiah, Philip left John the Baptist and followed Jesus. It was this very Philip who introduced Nathaniel, sometimes identified as Bartholomew, to Jesus. Of all four Gospels, Philip figures prominently in the Gospel of John. It was he Jesus asked where they could buy bread to feed the 5,000, confessed John chapter 6, verse 5. Also, it was he who asked Jesus to show them the Father when Jesus told them he was going to the Father. That question of his provided Jesus the opportunity to teach his apostles about the unity of the Father and the Son. Jesus said, Philip, have I been with you all this while and you still do not know me? To have seen me is to have seen the Father. John chapter 14, verses 8 to 21. Philip died as a martyr. He was beheaded in the city of Herapolis in Turkey in the year 80 AD. He is the patron of Cape Verde. Also, he is the patron of pastry chefs. Among the 12 apostles, there were three sets of apostles with the same name. The first set were those called Simon. We had Simon Peter and Simon the Zealot. The second set were those called Judas. We had Judas or Jude, the son of James, commonly known as Jude Thaddeus, and Judas Iscariot. And the third set were those called James. We had James the Great and James the Less. James the Great was the brother of John and the son of Zebedee, who together with his brother were called sons of thunder. And we had James the Less, who was the son of Alphaeus. The James, whose feast we celebrate today, is James the Less. He was a cousin of the Lord and was also known as James the Just because of his ascetic life. Not much, in fact, nothing is recorded about him of what he said, save for the fact that he was an apostle. It is only St. Paul in his letters who mentioned him. Paul mentions meeting James the Less, the Lord's brother. Confess Galatians chapter 1, verses 18 to chapter 2, verse 10. Also, after his resurrection, as recounted by St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 7, to this first reading, James is mentioned as the one to whom Jesus appeared after his resurrection. He died around 69 or 62 AD in Jerusalem. But why did the church merge these two to celebrate them on the same day? They had nothing in common in terms of character save for the fact that they were apostles. It is not mere chance or coincidence, but divine providence. We learn two lessons. Their lives teach us that we can also live together in a diversity of color, of race, of culture, of temperament, of faith, religion, sex, or attitudes. We must, we must not all be the same to live together. We must not all come from the same place. We must not all speak the same language. Many troubles in life are a result of failure to see difference and appreciate the difference in the other. We all want the other to behave like me, to talk like me, to see things as I see them. I want to make of the whole world me, and the other is not ready to, to let go of what they hold dear. And for this, we have difficulties in our world. Learn to appreciate the differences of the other. Difference is not weakness. It is rather a spice in life. For diversity brings beauty in life. The second lesson in the gospel, Jesus challenges Philip. Have I been with you all this while and you still do not know me? To have seen me is to have seen the Father. By this, Jesus means he is the same with the Father. To have seen him is to have seen the Father. Jesus is with us too, and we may still not know him. He has told us he is in the poor, he is in the sick, in the suffering, in the marginalized, the less privileged. He is in our fellow brothers and sisters. For whatsoever you do to your brothers and sisters, that you do to me, Jesus has said. 
So why are we looking for him far away when he is very close to us? Whatsoever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to him. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. By this, Jesus means he is in our neighbors. The Jesus you are looking for in heaven is very near to you. Do not be blind to recognize him. When you pass by that one in need, or when you have your brothers and sisters who are in need, even if they are not in need, every brother and sister of ours, every neighbor is Jesus whom we come in contact with. Let us not be like Philip, asking to know the Father when Jesus and the Father are one. We too may be asking to see Jesus when Jesus is present among us. He is in the blessed sacrament. Do we recognize him? He is in our brothers and sisters. Do we recognize him and love him? Let us pray for that grace as we celebrate the two apostles always to appreciate our differences because diversity brings beauty in life and also to recognize Jesus in our fellow brothers and sisters. We wish a happy feast day to all those who go by the names Philip and James and to institutions named after them. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen.